Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are back, uh, we just met this uh, female bard, uh, she sang a lovely song, she clearly knows Dandelion, and she's trying to help us out, apparently Dandelion was trying to rob a vault or something, <laughs> so we're gonna uh, go, uh, go try to help find him. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please hit the like button. Um, hit the bell icon if you haven't already. That way you know when uh, I upload new videos, which is every day. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm uploading videos every day, and your subscriptions really help me out a lot. Alright, with that, let's let's jump right back into it. Alright, now we need to get to the bath. Got Bobby to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. Do you seek to get me drunk, sir? If I was seeking to get you oh, drunk, oh, 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 bandit! Any fathers will do anything to distract folk from their true problems. I'm signing up. Stakes are going to be high. Probably a good thing to hear my fortune. All I know is that when they dangle a fortune to win before you, it's even easier to lose one. We've no monsters. Non-humans exhibit a natural inclination towards brigandry. Every one of them. Anybody there? Open up. is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuven we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hey, Whitehead! Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. I was made for love. Virginia cut off his hand, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's arse. And then he sent the body back, well, he offering was a bigger. hand extended He's hung in like a horse. <laughs> and this is a simple matter. Easy, Cleaver. Oh, son, Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. 
The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Ruven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller? Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! <laughs> this is Kelly. All son Junior sends his regards. <laughs> 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 Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarf's Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths.
If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion? Could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. 
As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, and you do realise, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Be so kind as to follow me. See if that helps the uh, graphics a little bit. Bases that are heavy. Yeah, it's six pounds and it looks off. Oh, Bart, not again. Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart hard! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! 
but sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold. And all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club. A bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny! Chorfun! Oh, God! Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh, no! Boom! Hole! But look, won't go. But look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bart! Bart! Troll! Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. 
want to see boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Your phone, gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Funce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing! Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Well, all right, everyone. We're going to end today's episode right here. Uh, and then we're going to venture into the sewers this next episode. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are enjoying the, uh, the series so far. If you are, please hit the like button. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when I upload more videos. Um, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, I appreciate it a lot. So uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.